us now is the founder and the web design specialist at WebDroid LLC, Joshua Ashford. Joshua, thanks for joining us today. Hey, hey guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, glad to have you on, on the show. So you are a 2021 graduate of TechTown, Detroit's retail boot camp. Can you tell our viewers about what TechTown's Detroit retail boot camp is and how that has helped you in developing WebDroid? Sure, sure. So again, thank you for having me. Um, I did participate in uh, TechTown's 2021 uh, cohort, um, the retail boot camp. I ended up uh, winning the cohort uh, for my idea that was based in esports and technology. So uh, the cohort is uh, pretty much an eight to 12 week incubator where you compete with other uh, business owners in the city of Detroit. And um, at the end, you have a, with a pitch competition and you compete for a $5,000 grand prize, which I ended up winning for um, my new initiative based around esports. So yeah, you were one of six RBC graduates to, to be awarded that Kickstart award uh, for WebDroid. Can you tell us about WebDroid, that, that, which is the business that you began with that Kickstart uh, from RBC, from RBC and, and that award? Tell us about your business and what inspired you to build WebDroid? Sure, sure. Thanks for that question. So WebDroid began in 2018 uh, as a web development firm. Uh, I work in technology and I started to work with other small businesses in and around the city of Detroit uh, to build websites for them. Uh, that led me down a coding instructor path that I ended up exploring with um, uh, working within the different DPS school systems. And that led me to be exposed to a lot of the young people here in Detroit. Um, and I was able to pick their brain. I was able to mentor them and teach them how to code. Um, and that ended up uh, leading me down a path where I asked them one day, I said, hey, what do you guys do, you know, when you aren't, you know, in school and whatnot, when you guys go home and these sorts of things, what are some of your hobbies? And he said, you know, when we go home, we game, you know, we sit on the computer or we play video games. And I said, you know, for us to try to get them into all of these tech adjacent programs that we're running right now, we want to meet them where they are right and uh, meeting them where they are looks like esports so that's where the idea came from that was the inspiration for it um it's really community it's really a community-based initiative to engage the young people of detroit and what they already enjoy doing especially during the pandemic e-commerce became yeah. a, a big buzzword as people were buying gifts during the holiday season or you know, even yeah. doing the grocery shopping online or other forms of shopping. And then for those participating in eSports as well, especially as eSports institutions, specific teams, even college teams uh, and yeah. professional teams were coming into the fold as well, that creates a different set of needs for websites and for web development and for web services. How does yes. how do those needs differ from maybe a, a more standard or not, not so, so much standard, but more old school run of the mill business different from this that's entirely based in interconnectivity and in the web? Exactly, exactly. Well, like you just mentioned, you know, it's, it's really two different aspects, right? And, and you know, um, what you just mentioned was significant because we saw a lot of um, pivots happening during the uh, pandemic, right? We saw a lot of um, huge organizations go virtual, completely virtual. We saw a lot of organizations and restaurants, you know, um, go out of business, right? Because they weren't able to necessarily pivot in these sorts of things. So you're completely right when you say, uh, you know, the digital aspect of running a business versus the um, in-person aspect are really two separate things, but they both lend towards, um, you know, that business's um, identity. Um, for the young people, they are interested in coding. Technology is a really, really emerging industry that um, is, you know, has a lot of potential for, you know, future development and, you know, longevity. Um, but another tech adjacent industry is esports, with over 370 million players and, uh, or excuse me, watchers uh, worldwide. It's only growing, right, and it's going to continue to grow. They're speaking about having esports be a part of the Olympics in 2024, right? It was supposed to be a part of it this past um, uh, Olympics in 2020, you know, so it's just growing, you know, and, and being able to bring that to the forefront in a program type of aspect and compartmentalize it so that more young people can be a part of it is, is really what I'm passionate about. 
We're joined by Joshua Ashford, the founder and web specialist at WebDroid, joining us on the Michigan Megacast. More information on their website, webdroid.online. That is webdroid.online for more information. How did you come up with the name for your business? Why WebDroid? You know, WebDroid, I, I'm, a, I'm a sci-fi geek. You know, I love sci-fi. That's my whole thing. I'm a movie buff. My whole family's always been in the movies. Um, and when I started the firm, again, it was based originally in app development, web design. So I said, hey, you know, I, I want to make sure that, you know, people can know the title just from namesake. So I, I want website, web something to be incorporated. And I was watching Star Wars one day and said, you know, that droid's kind of cool. You know, maybe I should incorporate some type of droid aspect into it, you know. And uh, a friend of mine said, hey, why don't you just kind of combine them, you know, like a web droid kind of thing. And I said, hmm, you know, I think I'll go with that. Didn't spend too much, uh, didn't second guess it too much. You know, I went with it and I've been running with it ever since. Joshua Ashford is joining us on the Michigan Megacast, the founder and web design specialist at WebDroid LLC. Joining us on the Michigan Megacast, their website again, webdroid.online. That's webdroid.online. And uh, in addition to working with esports teams and with e commerce businesses, you also do a lot of work with the Boys and Girls Club. Can you tell us about your involvement with that organization and how your business assists in that organization's work in the community? Sure, sure. So again, thank you for the question. Um, the Boys and Girls Clubs have been pivotal to me being able to roll out this program. They actually invested um, in the program uh, for us to pilot it at their locations. The Boys and Girls Clubs have five locations in the Metro Detroit area, and we're piloting our esports program at each location. Um, it will be at each location by the end of the year. Currently, we have it at three locations. Um, that's the Dauk Campus. That's on 16500 Tireman um, Street on the west side of Detroit. It's also at the Deal location, which is at 4242 Collingwood. Uh, that's also on the west side of Detroit and at the Auburn Hills location. Um, they have been amazing partners working with um, other organizations such as the Children's Foundation to help us build this uh, coalition out, um, the Detroit Red Wings. Um, Ninja, if you all are familiar with esports, Ninja is one of the most popular esports gamers in the world. He actually just uh, opened another laboratory with us um, about a week ago, actually in Auburn Hills. So uh, again, they've just been amazing partners, um, picking up this idea and helping me to pilot it within their facilities. It's been invaluable. We're joined by Joshua Ashford, the founder and web design specialist at WebDroid LLC. Joining us on the Michigan Megacast, their website, webdroid.online. That's webdroid.online. And so for businesses that maybe have more of those traditional outlets for operating their business, especially in the retail realm, those, with, mm -hmm. those mom and pop stores, what are some of the ways that your business can help them modernize their sales, modernize their outreach through the web? Yeah, definitely. So within WebDroid, we have two aspects of the business. Um, again, more recently, we've been venturing into esports, but the core of WebDroid really is uh, was based in web design and app development. I mentioned I had taught in DPS for about three years, teaching coding to uh, high school students and young people alike. And some of them have come aboard and actually work with me to develop these websites. Um, so there is a development team aspect to WebDroid. We help companies, uh, we specialize in e-commerce development, right? So we kind of spoke about this a little bit earlier, but different payment gateways to incorporate into your business, um, making your website work for you, automating different um, tasks, menial tasks that you know the business owner would do on a day-to-day -day basis, automating that out so that you can have more time in your business is what WebDroid and development team uh, here will help you to do. We're joined by Joshua Ashford, the founder and web design specialist at WebDroid LLC, joining us on the Michigan Megacast. So tell us some of the success stories of businesses, of organizations that you've worked with, and how your business has helped them uh, increase their online output through e-commerce, through modernizing their website, and through other technological aspects that maybe they wouldn't have had any knowledge of even had they not consulted with your company. Sure, sure. So, uh, you know, when we when I started working with a client, well, one client comes to mind where um, I'm an entrepreneur, right? I'm a tech entrepreneur, so I'm always pitching, always pitching. Um, I pitched a client who became um, a longstanding client of mine. I've been working with her for the past four years. 
And um, when I started working with them, they had uh, no online presence, uh, very little, I would say, um, no website, um, an Instagram page, um, but no other social media outlets. Um, but they had a very, very um, hardcore local following. They had actually been a business that were around for over 20 years at that point, and they had just never had the correct developer come along that they were able to work with that could help them grow and scale their business. Um, when I pitched to them, uh, we ended up uh, deciding that, hey, we wanted to have a longstanding relationship uh, working uh, or moving forward. And that allowed me to be able to expose them to a larger market, help them grow their audience by over 60,000 impressions in the first year alone. And now they have um, an e-commerce platform that's been developed by WebDroid that helps them to um, sell, maintain, and scale their business. They're actually going to open another location in the Midwest here um, based upon the success that they've had just from the website alone. Um, again, that's uh, just the website. There's also 3D uh, technologies that I use like VR, um, virtual reality, um, augmented reality that allow the users to engage with the business on a more immersive level. So we incorporate that technology as well. So how do those technologies then help the business better promote itself, either its services or if it's retail, its products to customers that may have access to, to those sorts of technologies? Sure. So, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that these technologies that um, are now becoming more and more accessible are um, easy to um, engage with, right? We don't want to lose people as we um, expose them to VR, AR, because, you know, we all do it, but when something's too tough, you know, the, um, the patron won't, or the shopper won't do anything at all, right? If sometimes it is called uh, cognitive overload, right? Having too many options or having too many things jumping out at you at once. We like to use uh, VR and AR technologies and 3D models to display um, different types of items that the business would normally sell. So say we're selling t-shirts, right? We can make a 3D model of said t-shirt, incorporate that into the website, make it interactable so that the user can zoom in, zoom out, rotate the 3D model at will and say, hey, you know what? This is actually a product that I want to buy. I was able to engage with it on a more immersive level. Now I have a better idea of what I'll be getting in the mail, so on and so forth. You know, we also use uh, 3D models for logos, um, the business's logo uh, for marketing purposes. Um, again, just, you know, kind of like a cool thing. Uh, we have some mobile um, applications that we've developed before in the past. So it's many different ways that you can use these technologies for a business's benefit. Joshua, anything else about WebJoy that we haven't talked about yet today that would be important or interesting for our audience to know before we say goodbye? Yes, I would just like to say, if you are a young person in Detroit, um, WebDroid is working on your behalf to have you guys learn more immersive uh, skills, um, be able to uh, program in a, in a more um, applicable way, learn these uh, uh, emerging coding technologies and game with your friends in a facility that will be available to us soon. I'm going to be a part of a series of pitch competitions coming up, um, being Hatch Detroit uh, and Demo Day, and I can use all of you guys' support. Uh, you can reach us online and support us at www.webdroid.online forward slash esports, and you can sign up for the email list there. We have some more content that will be coming out in the coming weeks on how you can support us and follow us along our journey. Joshua, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.